One of the problems that people have with Windows 7 is that it doesn't come with an email client. In past versions, you had either Microsoft Outlook Express or you had Windows Mail and Windows Vista. Well, they shipped Windows 7 without one. There's a good reason for that. They already have one. You just have to go and download it. So first, go to msn.com. Just go here where it says Messenger. And you get to Windows Live Essentials. Okay, roll down. And these are all the things that you can install here. But all we're interested in is the mail. And you can install the other ones if you want. Okay, so we choose our language here, whichever one you want. And then click Download and save it to your desktop or to your download folder wherever you want. Okay, let's run that now. Okay, and it brings up the Windows Live. So you can check or uncheck anything in here that you want to install. Okay, in my case, I already have all of these installed, but what you would do is just check the ones you want installed, uncheck the ones you don't. So if you just want mail, then just check mail. Okay, now what you would do is just click the next button and it will install the mail program for you. When you're done, you're going to get a screen that asks you if you want to sign up and you don't have to. You can just close. The email client is now on your computer. Now when you upgraded from a previous version of Windows, Windows Vista, if you had Windows Mail installed, the data is still all there. So as soon as you open this program, it will import all of your emails, all of your email accounts, all of your contacts, and it's ready right out of the box. So all you have to do is open it up and you're ready to go.